like. Hmm. Gonna work on that. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you do not know me, my name is Jack. Hi. Uh, forgive me for the mismatching Under Armour cap and Nike top. Uh, I haven't actually got one that matches both. Uh, but it's about 24 degrees in the UK today, and it's bloody hot, so I have shorts on. They look ridiculous. Uh, they're actually swimming shorts. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. But, behind me is the Bath 595 Competizione. Uh, I've been driving it for a little while now, and so I thought we'd take the time to have a look at a review, see what it's looked like, uh, what it's like to live with, what it's like, I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, bits and bobs about it. So, um... Yeah, I think we should just stunk in. Actually, one thing, um, I really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Please, 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 please subscribe. Uh, you'll see the button below. Um, it's massively important for me, you know, that you can you can support me in, in this channel, YouTube thing that I'm doing, uh, and subscribe. So, uh, yeah, with that, let's go. So, yes, the Abarth 595 Competizione. Um, I've driven this car for a little while now, a couple of months, uh, and I think it's quite a fun little car. It's uh, pretty nuts, I'll explain why in the, in, in the video, but I thought it was ex important, important, important to tell you a little bit more about the car, what it's like to live with, uh, what I think of the car. Um, it's actually pretty popular. These cars are not too expensive. I mean, if you compare it to, say, a Mini, um, they're, they're not expensive at all, and I kind of understand why a lot of younger people have them. They're not too bad to insure. They're about 145 quid in tax. Uh, they're cheap to fill up. They're about 35, 40 quid to fill up. Uh, and they last quite a little while. So, um, yeah, they're not expensive to run, so I think that's a lot why a lot of younger people buy them. And so I think it's important if you're looking to buy one, or if you have one, and just want to compare notes, then watch this video. But let's get stuck in. So what are we looking at with the 595 Competizione? Well, first of all, number rule number one, I think, with this car is you're not allowed to call it a Fiat. You, you have to call it in a bath. I don't know why people get... Very angry, very upset if you call it in a bath and not a fear and not in a bath. So, first thing first, it's in a bath 595 competizione, given away by the badges at the back, the badge in the middle, and obviously I've got the little bath stripe down the side. But let's go around to the back because a telltale sign that this is a, I don't know, a newer model than the older ones is the little lights have now got like this kind of little plastic bit in the middle. It's yeah, it's kind of like plastic, I don't know what it is, but it's obviously body colour painted, uh, and that just kind of signifies that it's a bit of a newer one. If we go down as well, it has got a Monza exhaust. So you'll see it's got the quad tailpipes uh, at the back, uh, which are cool and they make it quite a good sound as well. Uh, it's got little splitter thingies. I don't really think they do anything, but uh, they're aggressive and they look good. Actually, the rear diffuser on this is pretty outrageous, actually. You can see how... Let's go rally cars, be honest. That's where... Oh, ha, ha. That's where a light should be, shouldn't it? Like a rally car, but that is absolutely wicked. Uh, going around to the side, we've got the upgraded wheels. Uh, these aren't the standard wheels, these are upgraded. And... They are diamond cut, and you can see in the middle they've got the Brembo brakes. They're the red brakes. Um, I'll get onto those in a minute, but yeah, at least they look cool enough. Uh, around to the front, again, I guess this is facelifted. We've got different lights on here. We've got the kind of weird LED circle thingies and little spotlights. I think they look quite cool. And I don't know if you can see it, but in the grill, we have got our bath in the grill. Uh, sometimes it's quite hard to see that, but yeah, that's in the grill. Lovely a bath logo. Uh, and yeah, I think if I just come out, I think it looks like a... A great little car. Um, looks good. I think it's, the, the colour combination is right. I'm a big grey fan. I like grey cars. That's just me. But um, I do also like partially a few other cars. I actually quite like, quite like the Rello. The Rello. That's amazing. The yellow that they do. Actually, let me just swap round. I do really like the yellow that they do on this uh, Abarth 595 Competizione. Um, I did see a green one. I'm a bit colour blind. And I thought it was the same one. And it did look a bit crap. So the yellow one I think is cool. I think tinted windows help as well. Oh, love it. Get that in there. We need that. That. So follow me on Instagram, by the way. Uh, it'll be on the screen somewhere now. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's have a look uh, inside. Holy crap, balls! It's so warm in here. Um, let me open the window, and then we're going to get stuck in with what this car is like on the inside. Oh, God. oh, there you go. I'm out the window. Look at that. Radio's on. So this is nice on the outside. So on the inside, I've got these bucket seats which are nice, they are full bucket, they don't move in a way that maybe normal seats do, they're quite fixed, they're quite flat, and actually I wasn't used to them, my Mini, oh my god it's so hot in this car, 26 degrees in this car, this is ridiculous, but I'm going to power through, in my Mini, the seats on it are quite thick actually, they, although they're bucket seats, they're, they're quite thick, they are nice, these are a little bit thinner, uh, but they, they're still absolutely fine, uh, they're covered off in suede with, I guess just the, the vinyl they use on the car, 
Uh, and obviously they've got the bath logo on the inside. Um, if I, let me just turn you around. Can you, how's that gonna work? Oh, that's beautiful. So, uh, on the inside I've got the carbon inlays on there and actually I think this is a facelift thing. See, these are flat. So I think the previous ones are different buttons, but on this one, they're flat um, and they've got those bits of carbon. Have got Alcantara on the steering wheel, although because it's obviously a used car, it's been used and it's a little bit bit tired now. And it's got the um, the 12 o'clock marking, but in carbon fibre. I don't know if it's actually real carbon fibre, but it's, it, lo it looks like carbon fibre. Let me just pull you inside for a second. So, uh, inside we've got... Um, ah! If you didn't know, this is an automatic. Um, I did do a release video, of, you know, when, when, when I first got this car a little while ago, uh, and I did have a little look and, and show that it was an automatic, but I'll go into that later on when I drive the car. Uh, it's got climate control with little buttons. You can see the temperature and things, which is which is cool. Obviously, you've got auto. Uh, you've got, please let me, oh, that's cool. You've got the um, nav screen thing, which is touch screen. I think it's a bit bigger than normal. I think that's just an option. But um, yeah, you've got your nav screen there, so you can choose all your buttons. Uh, a touch screen, a little bit slow, but absolutely fine, it works. Um, what else in here? I've got, you can plug your phone in. Woo! Plug your phone in. Uh, you've got these nicer, actually, mats. Can you, let me focus. Can you see those little mats? Uh, they're nicer mats, and I'm, again, I'm sorry it's not clean. Uh, can you see? Those are the uh, pedals, and they've got uh, little bath logos, and they're in silver, which is nice. Um, you got a nice little instrument cluster on there, and you've also got a, uh, a little sport thing here. And if I press sport button... It pops up. So that's pretty cool as well. Oh, hang on, wait. Can you see the little thing change? And there's a G meter, wow. And then it comes into Italian, because obviously when you're going faster, you want to make sure you can't actually understand anything. Um, yes, yeah, so, right, positives in this car. I think it's a nice little layout. Oh, let me just pop around. Let me get you outside. I think it's a nice layout in here. I think everything is simple. It's pretty easy to work, uh, and everything works okay, absolutely fine. Uh, I think it's good. I think it looks quite stylish as well. I think the seats are pretty cool. And if you're happy with the bucket, then great. Um, negatives, okay, there is a bit of plastic in here, but what are you going to expect? It's an Italian little hot hatch, and it's not expensive, so there's going to be bits of plastic. I think they've done a very good job of what they have, so bits of carbon fibre and stuff, I think they've done a nice job. They've got bits of suede around the, the, uh, the steering column and things, so I think it's a nice job. Um, but, you know, just make sure you set your expectations. It's not, you know, top premium standard, but, you know, you're not paying for that. You're paying for a fun little car, so I think that ticks it. It's a fun little car. Right, um, we've had a look on the inside, we've had a look on the outside. Let's jump in, go for a drive, and see what it's like on the move. Oh, we're living in the present. Mm, but our mind is in the past, past. Not knowing what we lose. Don't know what we last. Yeah. So, yeah. What is this car, this 595 Competizione, like to drive? Well, uh, first thing, sorry for the rattling. This thing that separates the dog from me does rattle a little bit. So sorry if you can't hear me as well. However, what is this car like to drive? Well, um, I think it's all right. I think uh, it's got um, interesting characteristics. I think it's called Italian characteristics. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, it doesn't always steer where you wanted to steer. Now, it's probably because of the turbo. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's probably because of the turbo. A bit of turbo boost. As soon as it kicks in, it kind of has a bit of, bit of what's that called? Torque steer. Um, so it's probably that. Um, I often drive in just normal mode, so not in sport mode. And when I drive in sport mode, uh, all hell breaks loose. So, the sound system in this car is absolutely fine. Play no day please. It's a nightfall, it's not here to give me through it all. Uh, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it's called, it hasn't got any like bags or anything, so I don't think it's like a Bose or a Meridian or, or one of those, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Uh, it works perfectly well, it's actually pretty good sound. The seats I'm getting used to, they're quite comfortable. Um, I mean, visibility is absolutely fine. This window is huge. It's quite flat, so you do see a lot of visibility out. All these different pillars are quite small as well, so you have plenty of visibility when you're coming to a junction to see. Uh, wind mirrors, absolutely fine. You can see loads out of them. Um, I think it's a great little car. I think it's fun to drive. Uh, I think it's easy around town. Wow, that was close to hitting me. It's a bit of a very small turning circle, so um, yeah, that's, that's something to get, get to grips with. So, it's just gone to a 60. Let me put the windows down a little bit. And um, let's hear the noise. If you can hear it, hopefully you can. 
nice little far team part, that's cool. Oh, you see, I'm not, I haven't just quite, nice. I haven't quite got the confidence to stick it into a corner yet and be okay that the car's gonna get round nice and, ah, what's it doing? Nice and safely, which is one thing that I'm a little bit conscious about. So I'm gonna break down here. Keep changing, keep changing. quite a good little sound on the down chase, that's quite cool. Can you hear the little farty pop? They quite cool. What the bloody hell, mamma mia! They just overtook uh, in front of me, which is about it, it's fine. Uh, they're in a rush, they're in a rush. Um, yeah, oh, actually, that's not a bad place to, uh, that's not a bad place to pull over for a second. Oh, this is awfully bad. Turning circle here, turning circle. Yes. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, yes. Right, let me just pull over for a second and talk you through some of that. Handbrake! Hmm. Gonna work on that. So I just pulled over quickly because I want to do a little segment type uh, side note about the competition. So obviously, if you look at this car, you may be looking at some other cars. So I thought I'd just run through them. Um, number one, Ford Fiesta. There's so much pollen. What the f can you see all that pollen? Probably can't, there's just tons of it. That's crazy, it's all coming in the car, but anyway. Um, Ford Fiesta ST, so it's kind of small little car, probably about 200 horsepower. This is about 180, so not too dissimilar. Um, I think available in automatic. Uh, it's just been up updated, so uh, it's new, it's got new internals, so that's quite a nice little car. That's definitely one to contend with. Um, Mini, I'd put a Mini on this, why not? Um, so probably Mini Cooper S. Ish. Mini Cooper S, yeah, let's go with that one. Mini Cooper S, uh, a little bit more expensive, but obviously it's a little bit bigger car, and it's German, so you're paying for that, for that quality. Uh, what else are we looking at? Um, Seat, probably looking at a little, little Seat Ibiza, maybe, something quick like one of those. Uh, maybe Alfa Romeo go to like a Mito Quadrifilio, whatever it's called. So, um, there's yeah, there's a few things, things out there, but um, they're all kind of so different that it's quite hard to contend which one's which. Um, I think the 500, 595 competition is quite popular because it gives you the thrills, the, the excitement of a small little hatchback and it's Italian, so it's, it's obviously quite fun, a bit of flair. Um, there is a big following on social media, there's a lot of different events. I actually went to Auto Italia 2019 at Brooklyn and that was fun. There were so many people with so many of us. It's so cool to see so many people getting interested in cars and, and tuning them and changing them and, and getting to know people. That's really nice. Um, so there is a big following on lines, which is always a nice thing. You see the car, you probably start to look, oh, actually, that's a really nice car, I like it. Um, but then again, I haven't driven the Fiesta, the other cars, so I don't know what they stack up like. So it'd be interesting to see what they do. But um, yeah, that's just kind of covering off the competition of, of this car. So... Oh, go on. That's alright, that picks up pretty quick. I think this car goes from 0 to 60 in 6.9, 6.8 seconds, whatever it is. And this is the automatic, I don't know if it's any quicker, but yeah, it goes it goes 60 pretty quick. Actually, while we're on numbers, let's go through numbers. Um, I mentioned briefly earlier, uh, these cars aren't that expensive to run. I cost, it costs about 35, 40 quid to fill up, uh, and gets me about 300, 350 miles in a range, in a tank. Um, it's around about 30 miles a gallon for me but I drive how I drive different for you but that's just a rough figure um, tax for the year is 145 pounds uh, which isn't too bad uh, if you compare them to some other cars um, depends on how you finance your car whether how much you're going to pay uh, if you do a bank loan which is a popular very popular choice uh, because it's not too much money then you're probably looking at say you did a four-year bank loan at uh, and a car was about 15 grand, you're probably looking about 330 quid a month for four years, and then the car's yours. Uh, if you did a PCP, obviously significantly less, probably put no deposit, do it for four years, and you're probably looking at uh, 200, 250. It's not gonna be a lot of money, I'm sure. So, I think that's about it. Uh, we've covered kind of the driving of it, how it handles, the kind of speed, uh, the gearbox, we've covered that. Uh, Interior quality, you know, we've had a little look at that as well, uh, and I've kind of gone through the running cost. So actually, you know, overall, I think it's a great little car. Oh, we're living in the present, mm, but our mind is in the past, past. Not knowing what we lose, don't know what will last, last. Yeah, the things you always did. 
guys, well that has been the 595 competition in review. I really hope you liked it. I think the car is great. There's some Italian quirks. So once you get used to it, I think you'll love the car. I think it's really fun. It's nice, cheap, fun motoring. Uh, if you have liked the video, make sure to like it. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it if you can. Uh, support me in my journey uh, and just have some fun. Uh, but yes, like the video. Comment what you like to think about the car. If you like it, if you have one, also comment about what one you have and what you like about it. Uh, but yes, I will be releasing a video soon. So... Let's talk soon.